राजसी मनवानी टॉपिक बाउंसिंग बैक बाउंसिंग बैक राजसी मनवानी He was forced to abandon his dream of becoming a doctor by his parents in his teens. He was a failure at public speaking and was unemployed for several years in his twenties. He was racially abused and spitted upon several times in his thirties. He was scorned by his children in his forties. He was jailed 14 times and spent nearly 2,338 days in jail in 50s and 60s. Fellow Toastmasters, contest chair, and my dear friends, how many of us would have survived such misfortunes in our teens, in our twenties, in our thirties, in our forties, in our fifties, and in our sixties? But today, when we pay homage. To the father of our nation, Mahatma Gandhi, at Rajgarh in New Delhi, we know one thing: that if this one man did not have the ability to bounce back, India would never ever have got freedom. It is said that as age progresses, only a few of us become grown-ups, while most of us give up. <laughs> There are three characteristics of a person. who can bounce back the first characteristic of a person who can bounce back is the ability to say two magic words yes two magic words which my teacher gave me when i backed out of a debate contest in my school days he called me and he told me rajvi when you were small and when you fell down he laughed at you you did not worry you got up you brushed yourself and you walked on But as life progresses, you start judging yourself by what others think of you, rather than what you think of yourself. Just remember these two words. So what? When you laugh, you fear appearing a fool. So what? Fools have a lot of fun. <laughs> When you cry, you fear appearing sentimental. So what? At least you let out your emotions. When you hope. You fear disappointment. So what? At least you saw the brighter side of life. When you love, you fear rejection. So what? At least you had a blissful feeling. But the greatest fear of all is the fear to risk nothing. For the man who risks nothing, does nothing, is nothing, and becomes nothing. Have you all ever faced problems in your life? Just remember these two words. So what? It works wonders. The second characteristic of a person who can bounce back is the belief that whatever happens happens for the good. It reminds me of a poem. I learn as the years roll by and leave the past behind that much I had counted as sorrows proved that God was kind. That many a rose I longed for had a thorn of pain. That many a rugged bypath led to fields of ripened grain. The clouds that cover the sunshine can never banish the sun. Earth shines brighter when the weary rain is done. We must stand in the darkest shadows to see the brightest light. For it's from life's worst obstacles that comes the greatest strength to fight. I had the good fortune of having Rahul Dravid as my classmate. And one day I saw him wearing gloves to class. I asked him what happened, Rahul. He told Rajdeep, "The last two domestic matches have got rough decisions by the empire. Now I've got new gloves and I'm wearing them so that I get the groove." Then he smiled and he told, "But I know, Rajdeep, everything will happen for the good. The very next match, he scored a century and was picked up for the Indian cricket team, which went to England in 1996. And the rest, as they say, is history." Remember the spotless hand of God is too merciful to punish 
too wise to make a mistake. Troubles never come to tumble us. They only come to humble us. The third characteristic of a person who can bounce back is the ability to persist. We must all be like an insurance agent who went so many times to a businessman asking for an insurance policy that the man got so fed up, he told him, get out, come back after 15 years. The man, as he was leaving, looked back and told, sir, after 15 years, should I come in the morning or in the afternoon? <laughs> I too had the problem. When I got the first rank in my MCOM in the university, I thought getting into any college would be a breeze. But every college I went said, last week, you cannot see. How will you be able to control the class? How will you be able to teach? You cannot teach. I was rejected 17 times. Then I remembered the words of my mother when I had lost my eyesight in my 7th standard. She told Rasti, they can take away the spark from your eyes, but can anybody take away the spark from your heart? No. The 18th time I got the job in one of the best colleges in Bangalore. We must all be like that small postage stamp which sticks on to the envelope till it reaches the final destination. Finally, Toastmaster, remember, Life is like this paper. Difficulties and obstacles may come and they put pressure on us, they fold us, they crumple us and we all fall down like this, like a crumpled piece of paper. But life is also like this paper, where you have pressures of obstacles, where you have the pressures of difficulties, but if you put the right force of perseverance, saying so what, and also believing what happens, happens for the good, we all can fly. Thank you.